This is the only video you need in 2025 on Gemini, where I will walk you down across the details where Gemini can help you and improve your productivity, bookmark it now and stop scrolling. Let's dive into Gemini and see the wonders and amazing capabilities Gemini has to offer. The way to navigate to Gemini is go to gemini.google.com, but you can also access Gemini in aistudio.google.com. So that's a different uh, video I have already built together. You can have a look in my videos. You will find it out easily. Also, I will pin it in the description. So this one is about gemini.google.com, where you see here in the options like, so it has got two models, 2.5 Flash and 2.5 Pro. It gives you a balanced trade-off between cost and performance, and it is good for most of the use cases, which we'll see in this demo. So let's pick up Flash because it will be cost effective as well. So once you are done that, you can start the chat window by clicking here. So once you do that, you will see this window and place a prompt. So I'm trying to see how does Gemini 2.5 compare to the older versions of Gemini it had. We know Gemini has evolved over a period of years, like it was 1, 1.5, 2, and now 2.5, and maybe in future, right? So this is 2.5, the GA version, which is time at the time of recording in October 2025. So the first feature first is chat where you will see how can query in a very user friendly way and ask questions. Typically it does Google search behind the scenes and get you the latest actual data without hallucinating. So for example, in this query, I'm trying to find it out. How does Gemini 2.5 compare to other previous avatars or models of Gemini? Like Gemini has evolved over a period of a time, like one, 1 1.5, two and so forth, so on. So let's hit the query now. So it will take a few minutes of time while trying to get the answers. And you can see the detailing amount of detailing even Flash gives you out in the research and model family details, recommendation, everything, right? While it's trying to generate, let's wait for some time where you I will show you how to export these details into a Google Docs or even you can extend it to Google Gmail as well. So that's the power. And it gives you the sources and citation. It has picked it out, right? You can check here. So that doubly confirm it has not hallucinated and getting you the latest data. You can go here and check here the data which is calling and probably the date, probably it's March 2025. Hopefully it's the latest one. So I come back to the screen on the chat window and there are different ways you can extend it, right? So I said, uh, you can listen it, you can copy this response and you can export to docs or Google Gmail as well. If you are using a workspace or Google Gmail, you can always do that. So let me export to docs. It will take some time and it has created a doc and provided you are using Google Docs, it's a free thing with Google Gmail. You will see wonderfully it has created a template for you out of the box. No sweat, nothing like that, right? It's very easy to get started. So let's hop on to the demo number two. So when you look at these options here, so click on tools, you will see something like deep research here. And trust me, the UI is getting enhanced as per every new release and all those things. Uh, when you see it might be later, it might have changed, but deep research is going to stay here in the Gemini. So click deep research and it will ask you to start a new chat. Click that. And for example, I am planning to extend my company in Europe, right? My new software company, something like that. Don't worry about the spelling mistake. The large language model is intelligent enough to handle that. And imagine the pain I have to do and search across and rely on third party sources to get the data, what I need to get my organization started or established in the new territory like Europe, for example. So, but with Gemini, that problem is gone. Similarly, if you're trying to research for a new product feature and all those things, you can do some type of brainstorming with deep research capability, which is there out of the box for you in Gemini. So you can see it quickly prepared the initial list, what is required for setting a software company in Europe, and you can click more. In case, in case you see these options are not happy, you are not happy with the results, you can click and edit. But for the sake of the demo, let me start research, assuming I am happy with the outcome which Gemini has started the initial template, right? It kicks up a new window here and it will take some time. When the model is trying to generate answer, it shows thinking mode. That's the beauty of a uh, two dot series model with Google Cloud, where it is reasoning and thinking model, unlike the previous generation models of large language model where it was only trying to get you the answers, right? So that's the differentiator Gemini 2 and beyond like 2.5 Flash or Pro or even Lite, the new version which you see in the AI studio or somewhere else in the in the Vertex AI platform, you will see it is the reasoning and thinking model. So you can see it has picked up the research websites it's trying to do and what are the key criteria for European setup, right? Uh, again, it's researching website and getting you the details 
and comparing all the analysis like labor cost, uh, compliance, regulation, and uh, trying to conclude a research report for you out of the box and trying to understand and filter it out. What are the challenges you might end up or what are the things you need to fulfill for setting up a new software company in Europe, for example, for this demo? Yeah, now you can see it has all done the results, uh, detailed report like legal structure, incorporation mechanics, and all the details it has there for you, right? So it's quite detailed and elaborate because it has done a deep research with all the citations where it has used a source for building up this report, right? Once you are done, so you can, you can keep tuning it with the prompts if you are want to do something else on top of it. Or if you're happy, just create and share report to Google Docs like last time or share the link if you want. Or the best way I would say is prepare a Google Doc and probably if you are using the other platform like MS Word and all those things, you can download that from Google Docs as well. So there is an option to download it from Google Docs to MS Word. Let's move on to the third demo. So in this third demo, I will talk about Canvas. If you look at uh, one of the way you can get started is building your apps, right? No code, low code approach where any citizen centric user can develop apps. And there are different ways. AI Studio, if you are observed in one of my video, I have highlighted how to easy to use is to create apps, right? Similarly, you can do in Gemini as well. To do that, you can click Canvas. Canvas is for your preview and testing out, which ways you can test out the apps right in your console or the tab without moving out of Gemini altogether. So that's the wow feature, which you might not get in other large language models, right? So let me hit this button. I say create a 2D Tetris game. If everything goes well, it will generate the output with the code as well as the preview option where you can see and play around the game, right? It has started building the code now, which you see in the screen. Let's wait for the preview. Similarly, you can keep building a website. In one of the earlier videos also, I have demonstrated how you can build your, like a uh, electronic store, online store, a retail app for Zenzies or a clothing fashion brand or a mobile store or any games, right? Uh, the snake games, uh, the Tetris game also, I did show that. Or even you can clone an app like Twitter or a social media sites, right? So here you can see it has built up the site. You can click start and move on the arrows keys, which you can see it's working, but uh, I'm not here to show my skills on the game, right? So I'm talking about the capability. So this is how you can extend and build apps in a low code approach, no code approach using gemini.google.com apart from AI studio, which is also there. So let's move on to the next demo. The next demo I'm talking about insane capabilities of nano banana, which is powered by imagine behind the scenes. Yes. Uh, if you are using earlier versions, of uh, this Gemini, you might you know, might not see if you are currently testing from September onwards, you might have seen the news on viral, getting viral on internet and Twitter and everywhere about Nano Banana. And also I have developed a detailed video how to make some fantastic images and experiment with Nano Banana plus VO, which can give you a video as well, right? So here I'm talking about only Nano Banana, where I'm trying to scale a one by seven commercialized figure of a young man in a highly realistic way, sitting on the top of a smartphone. Let's see whether we are trying to get succeed or not. Uh, but seriously, it's one of the insane capabilities where uh, if you are if you are a creator and trying to struggle, create a thumbnail, you can copy the viral thumbnail and make the changes with your image or your text or something specific to your uh, YouTube topic. While I speak, the output has come. You can see how insanely fast it is, how, how realistic, and it has maintained the character consistency of the person as well in the photo, right? This is what I wanted. But you can still fine tune it if this doesn't fit your requirement. So let me go with another demo on Nano Banana. Uh, this is my uh, uh, the same photo. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a person uh, getting rising from coffee in a steam format so that you will see something different, right? A person coming out of a coffee, top of a coffee uh, in a steam fashion and only the head is exposed. So let's see the output and let's wait. It will take a few seconds to generate. And it has already started doing that. You see this, right? Uh, quite insanely amazing it is. And, and uh, surprisingly, these are the capabilities. If you're not using in 2025, you are missing out a lot. So I wanted to show about capability of video. I got exhausted with my capability. That's you don't see here video. But what I've done in the earlier ahead of time, I have generated a video. Uh, so this video helps, gives you three videos per day as a plan. So what I did was ahead of time, I tried to generate a video of a Bigfoot roaming around and shouting in the jungles, right? And the prompt is there. Don't worry, I will give you the prompt. Just be aware. But if you can go to AI Pro plan, that limit might get offset, right? That limit can be removed easily. Let's look at this video, right? I have conquered forest. So this is another video. 
And these are some of the images which went viral where Nano Banana and Vio come together. And you can always explore that in my video. In other videos, I've already prepared for it. So the next one, next, let's move into something called gems. So gems are something like customized version of Gemini where you can build your own app, right? So there are some pre-made by Google, which you see here, Chess Jam, Brainstormer, something. So what we'll do it to make it more interesting, we'll create an app called New Gem. And intent of app is to find a job on career section of Google site, right? So what I've done is I have created something ahead of time and it's very easy. So let's get started on creating gems. So what I've done is I have selectly highlighted here. You are the career section advisor for Google organization. And I given the instructions specifically in layman language that I want to instruct you to highlight the open position in Google only as a company, no other companies worldwide based on users input, right? You can start here questions but you can always go back here and once you build this gem you should see here so once you are there let me ask a question please suggest me software engineer roles in mountain view usa google let's see whether you are trying to get the answers or not so it again behind the scenes is doing a google search but this search is restricted to only Google as a company, right? Because my query was, what are the open positions in Google for software engineers in Mountain View location? So you can look here. It has featured, captured rightly, software engineers, right? You can export to the seats. And then what are the different things like it has opened different categories like for Google Maps, AI ML, Google Earth, and so forth, so on. So it gives you detail. And it also highlights you how to apply that, right? And it gives you the citation as well from where it has picked up. Ideally, you can go to Google site directly here instead of going to a third party site. But these are only Google related openings or opportunities which are available for software engineers in Mountain View, USA, right? This is how you can create a low code way where anybody can build an agent. And this is what is called gems and the power of democratizing AI ML, especially Gen AI for everyone. Hey, if you haven't met me, I am Pritam. This is my channel. I talk about AI and the latest trends. And very recently, I gave a TED talk on agent space if you're excited about agentic ai and that too from google cloud just have a look on the description below and also i wrote a book to demystify generative ai for everyday common people where anybody can get started on with the productivity hack in day-to-day -day life thank you for tuning in stay tuned to my channel just hit that like button subscribe and thank you once again